Hello everyone, today our topic is how to add Mautic contacts in Google Sheets automatically. So our objective is whenever we create a new contact in Mautic, we want to add a new row in our Google Sheets automatically using those details. For that, we are going to create an integration between Mautic and Google Sheets. For creating this integration, we are going to use Public Connect. Pavli Connect is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Pavli Connect, we are going to use triggers and action. In trigger application, we will be using Mautic. In action application, we will be using Google Sheets. How I'm going to create this integration? For that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today we have Mautic application. And this is the dashboard of Mautic. And we have Google Sheets. So Mautic is a marketing automation software. It helps us to create a strong marketing strategy for our businesses. And today our objective is to create an integration between Mautic and Google Sheets in such a manner that whenever we get a new form submitted and a new contact gets added in Mautic, we want to capture these details and add them in a Google Sheets as a new row. And I also want to create an automation between these process so that it can save my time and energy for creating this automation and integration, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. So I'll open a new tab and search for pabli.com. And this will take me to this landing page of Pabli. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli Connect, you can sign up for free. It will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundreds of tasks free every month. And if you already have an account, you can just sign in and it will take me to this page. So these are the tools that Pabli offers. So here we are going to use Pabli Connect. For that, I'm going to click here on Access Now button under Pabli Connect. And it will take us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. And this is the workflow section. Here we can see all the workflow that we will create. This is the folder section. I can create new folders from here and I can save my workflow in any particular folder that I want. We are going to create a workflow. For that, I'm going to click here on Create Workflow button and this window will pop up. I will name it as my objective, which is Add Mautic Contact in Google Sheets. And I'm going to select the folder where I want to save my workflow in. So I will select Home and I will click on Create. And it will take us to the most important window of our workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. Trigger says when this happens, action say do this. So trigger will be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will follow that. So we will set up our trigger application first and our trigger application will be Mautic. I'll search Mautic, I'll click here. I give a trigger event. For trigger event, I will open this tab and search for my trigger event, which will be new contact identified. Now I have to connect my Mautic application with Pabli Connect. For that, I'm going to use this webhook URL. If you are having any issue with connecting your accounts, you can just go through these instructions and you can follow all these steps to connect your accounts. Now I'm going to copy this link. I'll go back to Mautic application and I will click on this setting button. I will go to webhooks and here I will click on this new button. Now I will name my webhook as demo and I will paste the link here and I will select the webhook event as contact identified event. So I'll click on send test payload. So it is showing success. Now we'll go back to Pabli Connect. And here we got this response. So we have successfully created a connection between Mautic and Pabli Connect. Now we'll click on recapture webhook response. Now we can see it is waiting for webhook response. So I will go back to Mautic and I will go to components and in the form sections. Here we have two forms. I'm going to fill this one. So I'll preview this. So this is how my form look like and I'm going to fill dummy details here. So my first name will be user. Last name will be contact. So my email will be user contacts 123 at the rate tablets.com and I will give a random phone number. And I will click on submit. So my form submission is successful. Now I will go back to Pabli Connect. And here we can see we got this new response. Let's check what we have here. 
So this was the phone number that we have filled in that form. Now, and this is the last name. This is the first name. And this is the email address. User contacts 123 at the rate .com. Now what we want is, we want these details to add automatically in our Google Sheets. For that, we are going to create action and our action application will be Google Sheets. So I will search for my action application, Google Sheets. I will give action event, which will be add new row. I will connect my account. I'll click on add new connection and sign in with Google. I'll allow to give access to my account. So my account is successfully connected. Now, before mapping all these details, I'll go back to my Google Sheet. And I have four columns here. First name, last name, mobile number, email. The name of my spreadsheet is Mautic Contacts. And we are using Sheet 1. So let's go back to Public Connect. I'll map the spreadsheet, which is Mautic Contacts. And here we can see all the details have changed automatically. Now we will map all these details according to our webbook response. I will map the first name first. For mapping, I'll click here. I will open the webbook response and I will map the required details that I want, which is first name. Similarly, I will map the last name. Phone number. And the email address. We are using mapping because mapping makes everything easy for us. And whenever we get a new data in our web response, these data will get exchanged because of mapping and we will get the real data in real time. Now I will click on save and send test request button. And here we have this response. So to check whether we got these details added automatically in our Google Sheets or not, let's go back to Google Sheets. So this is my Google Sheet and we have this new data here. My first name is user, last name is contacts and the random phone number and email address is user contacts 123 at the red tablets.com. So we have added the data that we got in our webbook response from the Mautic application and our integration is successful and our workflow is working successful. Here we have created an integration between Mautic and Google Sheets in such a manner that whenever a new form is submitted or a new contact is added in Mautic application, a new row is added automatically in such a manner that all the details of the new contact is added in Google Sheets. So what we did here is we set up our trigger application first and our trigger application was Mautic and our trigger event was new contact identified. And then we set up our action and action application was Google Sheets and our action event was add new row. So this was our workflow and you can also create this integration by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I will also put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. Thank you. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this using Pabli Connect. If you need any help or if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the if you have any queries, you can post them at forum.pabli.com or if you have any issue with the pricing of Pabli, you can connect on this link. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.